Well, guys, uh, last time we stopped here where we have to make an important decision regarding uh, who to send to the missile base and who to send to Balam Garden. So I've thought about it and I think I'm... Uh, yeah, well, we'll see what happens. I'm kind of screwed, actually. I don't really have a great strategy for defeating the ironclad that will meet up at the missile base, but we'll see how it goes. And those are the missiles for Trabia Garden. It's going to be completely destroyed. Actually, no. They hardly do any damage to Trabia. Like, what the hell? How ineffective can you be? Kvaad's call. I've had it up here with the leader thing. <laughs> okay, Squall Steam. Squall Steam is going to go to Balam Garden and I'll have Quistus. She's going to be the boss killer and uh, Renoa with these guys. I'm in the missile base. Yep. Uh, rest of the missile base, should I go with this? So the rest means Zell, Irvine and Selfie are going to go with, uh, go to the missile base. So there we go, that's the decision. So I think this is where this is the point where my lack of planning is going to uh, really be a problem. Because uh, we have entered a huge sequence of events where we, we won't really get opportunities to grind for items and stuff like that. Uh, on the world map for quite a while in fact this sequence continues all the way until Fisherman's Horizon so that's why I think uh, probably should have planned this out but since we are here might as well see how it goes so far I've been pretty lucky with this chapter and you never know if uh, Selfie ever procs the end. Uh, uh, that's basically a get out of jail free card for me. Can we not get out of the vehicle? Oh, there we go. We got Zell at level 8 and Orvine at level 13. Shit. That guy's gonna screw things up. I, I just put Orvine on this team because he's useless. He's useless in the other team, that's for sure. And this team is only gonna be responsible for uh, the missile base. The other team is going to be responsible for Balam Garden. And then we're gonna have to fight the Garden Master. And then we are also going to have to fight in uh, Fisherman's Horizon. Oh well, or by being at level 13 will bump up the enemy's levels in the upcoming area, but we'll just have to deal with it. What items do I have? I guess it doesn't really matter for this party, so let's just save and uh, move on. I think I can only remember where the missile base is. 
So this is Galbadia. I believe if we just follow the road from Galbadia, it will lead us to Commissar. There we go, there it is. So without further ado, let's just... Actually... Uh, nah. I was thinking, let me just prepare myself by getting everybody to low HP, but uh, we can take care of that later. If I can only remember what all we have to do here at the missile base. I think there are a couple different branching paths based on uh, whether we decide to screw with the computer and stuff like that. I don't remember 100% but uh, I think I think it will come back to me. It's locked! Uh, what do we have to do? I mean, I mean, someone... Someone says... We have an ID card somewhere. Yeah, or mine, okay. Screw you, man. Alright, alright, get on with it. Woohoo! Right, we're in. So here we come up to our first set of choices. What exactly are they going to be? There's someone there, what to do, what to do. Act casual, walk by quietly, try to sneak by. I think we have to act casual. Yeah, I don't want any encounters. I don't want to fight these guys. I think this guy's just going to catch us and say, Hey, don't run! Oops, we got caught. Don't running inside the base. <laughs> this guy's like the hall monitor in high school. And he still allows us to run. Oh, we have another save point here? Interesting. Alright. What are we supposed to do? Missile launcher. So we go in and I think they'll tell us that uh, there's something wrong with the launch mechanism. I'm doing expansion, come back later, okay? This guy won't allow us through, this, that's the computer, that's for later. So if we just head out here... Will this progress with what? Apparently. So these guys were just hanging around here, slacking off. And they're gonna continue slacking off. Laziness is the biggest security risk. Okay, they were slacking off there. So what are we supposed to do? I think we have to go to that launcher guy and tell him whatever those guys told us. 
right? Yeah, I have a message for you. To go on ahead, that they'll go on, yeah, to go on ahead. I'm still not done here. Could you tell them I can't go to said Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay, so we have to go back to them. We're just messenger your voice right now. Yes, we have no choice but to go. Nah, fuck that shit. Can we ask you to go? Oh man. Hey, that's not cool. I'll be fine. Yes, sir. Alright. So I think now we have to fight. Oh no, we, we actually don't have to fight. We can just trick that guy. Relieved, someone else was there to do the job for him. Just sit, whatever. I don't think it matters what we do here, it breaks the system anyway. Bang on it, hard. <laughs> oh shit, I have to hit square repeatedly. God damn it, these mini games. It, yeah, I was just gonna say, isn't that enough? Best way to just uh, break the computers, eh? They have no answer to physical violence. All right, next. I think this is where we're going to be asked a question. Hey, you, what's going on here? Uh, what the heck? Let's fight. Try to talk my way out. Listen. Yep. Yo, Esther, how's it going, man? What kind of excuse? Uh, we're just about to go call on you. What am I supposed to select here? I think if we say we're just about to go call on you, they'll accept his excuse. Alright, let us take care of it. They'll go in and we'll bash their skulls in. There we go. So we avoided this fight. <laughs> How you been, mate? I'm good, man. I'm good. What's going on with you? Alright, so far we are still just sneaking around, so I don't think there are any encounters here. Oh, because the power went out, they, they need help with uh, the missile launcher now. Dead because taxi what? Well, if you're dead, rest in peace. Got vaccinated. Cool. Side effects are hidden. What side effects? Are there side effects? You mean the small fever that you're gonna get? They would have given you medication for that. 
One thing. Arm pain, mild headache, fever. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't really know how that vaccine works. So I've been told that it's not your regular vaccine where uh, you know they just inject you the mild form of the virus. Paracetamol. Okay. Play it cool. Run away. Fight all the way. Play it cool. Yes, we we shall help out. This is another button mashing mini game. Man, this game really stresses your controller out. Alright, how do we help these guys? Come on! There we go. What have I been up to? Well, nothing much. Just been working from home. And, uh,. Because uh, working from home productivity is absolute garbage. I'm having to put in a lot more hours to get shit done, which usually took me a fraction of the time. But yeah, otherwise good. So over the last uh, year and a half, I've been staying with uh, relatives. And we started raising a whole bunch of cats. Very entertaining. Very, very entertaining things. So we got like four cats in the house running around right now and uh, well they just run around for like an hour or two every day the rest of the day just, they just sleep man what completely useless uh, things eh but it's good fun it's really good fun it's helped a lot with uh, just passing the time over the last uh, 15 months And we reincarnated as a cat. <laughs> I just, just, just wonder what it would like to be a cat. First of all, they sleep for like 20 hours a day. How the fuck do they even manage that? So you can nya nya your way to a maiden heart. Nah, I, I doubt it works that way. All right, control man. These guys are just handing us everything. Fucking lazy pieces of shit. You know, I didn't realize this on my first video, but Galbadia is just these Galbadian soldiers are just supposed to be one big joke. Do we get to save? Indeed, we do. I'm gonna save uh, very frequently because I'm not sure what is the point of no return. I don't want to do this all over again uh, once I die to the boss, which. I expect to. Alright, do I remember what exactly we need to do here? We just need to change the missile coordinates and I think that's it. Set error ratio. Oh, okay, so we need to set error ratio first and then upload the data. Or can we skip the data? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think we can skip the data upload. Regardless, it's not as if it's a fucking speed run. So I'll do that anyway. This is completely useless, by the way. The missiles still uh, go for Balam Garden anyway. Doesn't really make sense. Yeah, but they miss it. Yeah, but they only miss it because, uh, you know, Alarm Garden changes its location, starts flying and shit. 
It still hits the spot where Balam Garden was, isn't it? There's a huge crater afterwards. Right, I can exit. What are we supposed to do next? Let me go and save again. I think now is the time when we actually fight those guys. We can't avoid this fight. I still haven't prepared myself though. Maybe I can use that fight to prepare. Alright, so next up, we talk to this guy and he should let us through, right? Hey, you're not allowed. But, but, missile data. Okay, okay, you've convinced me. Did we have someone that puny in our base? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Now in this fight, the commander is actually pretty dangerous because he's got uh, confused. So I'll take him out first and then we'll get ready. We'll get everyone into critical HP for the next boss fight. Excuse me? Oh! Oh, I actually get a menu opportunity here. Can't really do anything considering that, uh, yeah, there, there's literally no preparation involved. I guess that's one of the convenient things about this challenge run. Do we get boss music for this? I don't think so. Let's change! Ta-da! What was it? What was the use? Like they were just... Oh, we do get boss music. They were just hanging around there eh, while we changed clothes. Makes sense. Time for us to get serious. Oh! Oh, we get dual immediately. Alright, I'm gonna try something new here. Nope, didn't work. I got a new strategy to use Meteor Strike, but it didn't work. Hopefully does not use Confuse. Hello? Wait, have I forgotten Meteor Strike already? Okay, this is not looking good. These guys are going after Zell. Fuck man, how did I forget Meteor Strike? I have forgotten Meteor Strike. Okay, it's just gonna be Armageddon Fist then. Shit, I'm really finding this difficult with my controller. Can I get in one more? Nope. Please don't kill Zell. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that gets dead. I think we are scot free now. Let's get everybody into crit. Actually, let's take care of one, of, one more of these guys. For, uh, ouch! Should Sophie take it easy? Man, 
I'm sucking at Zell's limit break today. Actually, these guys shouldn't have too much HP, but I might as well. It's not as we're on a timer here. That comes afterwards. You know, I'll take this opportunity to practice Meteor Strike. What the fuck is the combination for Meteor Strike? It doesn't really matter if the soldier hits Zell now, I'll just revive him the Phoenix down. But how the fuck do you miss? Alright, he is down to crit. It's time for selfie. FF2 strats here by the way. Uh, okay. Did not mean this. Shit us at the fan. Let's hope we can finish him off. Orwind oh, does quite a bit of damage actually. He's, he's not dead! Okay, I did not mean for it to be this close. All right, there we go. Do we get experience from this? Oh, we do. Okay, good thing Selfie and Zell died then. Here comes the difficult part. Uh, so the missiles and get out of here, but before... Yeah, everybody's at critical HP. So I'm told that we get a chance to save right now. We don't. Oh shit. Come on man, give me a chance to save. Oh, I guess we do get a chance to save. After we figure out that uh, password. Oh, there are random encounters now. Interesting. Must be a geezer. Yeah, useless. Alright, at, at least I don't have to repeat uh, that fight again. I'm gonna I'm gonna set it for two twenty minutes. 
I don't think I can do this in 10 minutes. And if we select 20 minutes, it should still allow us a shortcut. Right? That should be the shortcut. No, that's not the shortcut. Is this the shortcut? Maybe. Now comes the hard part. This boss might just prove to be our first wall in this challenge run. There we go, we are back on the... at the entrance. Alright, let's do this. There we go, the missiles. How much rocket fuel must they have to be flying for so long, eh? Especially the intercontinental missiles. It's like they, I believe they fly for hours. All right, let's do this. We just need to keep hammering away with limit breaks and uh, just hope. I think this guy has like 4,000 HP. Oh no! One dead. Zell is only doing 30 damage. Unfortunately, Meteor Strike does not work on this guy. As long as uh, Zell stays alive, I think there's a chance that we can do this. He's doing how much? About 3000? No, no, not 3000 damage. About 600 damage, I would say, if I get all my inputs right and I get a long enough uh, duo. Just gotta hope he doesn't kill Zell. Not bad, not bad. Getting plenty of hits in. This was the second longest duel we can get. Yeah, we can get a 12 second one. Come on, Selvi, you're up. Just managed to... Ooh, got Aura. Actually, why the fuck do we need Aura? We're already at critical HP. Who knows, maybe 
Aura plus critical HP might give her the end. No, don't kill Zell! Oh, Zell is dead. Zell is dead. Now the only way I can win this is the end. And she's dead. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Just gotta hope. I think I need quite a bit of RNG reliance. Zell is doing 600 per turn. So if 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 they just leave him alone for a couple turns, we might have half chance. What the hell is that? Unfortunately, we do have to see this stupid scene over and over again. And this scene over and over again. So let's see. I'm thinking I'll give it at least five or six tries before uh, trying a different strategy. Right now, I'm just depending on luck because I just don't have the DPS. And we also have to see this scene over and over again. Alright, take two. Oh no. Oh, he went off his L. Can't believe my luck, and they're not even getting the limit break. Oh, okay. I got the end. I'll take that. <laughs> oh man, this this feels so cheap. I don't want to reload and uh, grind a whole bunch. <laughs> Actually, I kind of have another uh, fight after this, so this is not going to be like. Uh, this is not 100% safe. But at least Irvine is... Oh no! 
I already queued up Irvine's move. I should have I should have queued up a limit break. We're still not out of the woods yet. Hopefully the soldiers won't get their turn before uh, before Irvine. I need to use his shotgun on them. Since Zell is dead. Should not have done that. That piece of crap! What now, Captain? Come on, guys, get your turn first. Please, not selfie or vine. Yeah, yeah, just cast cure. Shotgun ammo. Hopefully, this should do the trick. Who's she casting cure on, though? Okay, Irvine, that's fine. I think we can do this fight even without limit breaks. Scatter shot. Okay, they're all dead. Cool. Could not have gone better, man. Once again, I can't believe how lucky I am in this challenge run. Weapons, one pigeon, okay. Got a cottage. Nothing special. Now we just watch uh, the base just dis get destroyed. Oh no, Zell will never get to eat those hot dogs ever again. So this job is done. Now, uh, a potentially much more difficult job awaits the other, the other team. Not immediately, but once we get to Fisherman's Horizon, Once we get to Fisherman's Horizon, uh, there's gonna be some shit. We're, we're gonna have to fight this Ironclad again, and it'll be even more powerful. And we won't have selfies. We won't have selfies. The end to rely on at that point. Okay, here I do need to make some preparations. What all, what all blue magic can we teach Chrysis? Wait, I have pet piles volume 3 and 4. Okay, I have Invincible Moon. Angelo Reverse. Speaking of Angelo Reverse, how are you doing, Renoa? Angelo, oh, Angelo River's almost done, and I will learn Invincible Moon next. I was planning not to use it, but uh, yeah, I might have to rely on that. Might have to rely on that. But more importantly, we need to have Quistus learn some blue magic. So she learns Degenerator. Do we have anything else? Oh, micro missile, yeah, that is also going to come in handy. Weapons monthly June, let's check it out. Flame saber, okay. Dragon skin fury fragment, we're not gonna get that until much later. One is a steel orb and sharp spike. Where do we get sharp spikes from? And red scorpion. Ochu tentacle and dragon skin. Ochu tentacle. Ochus are a rare 
encounter near Galparia Garden, but uh, do I would really want to grind for that? I don't think so. Anything else? No. So, I believe... What all does Christus have? Laser eye, degenerate and micromissile. Okay, literally I haven't taught her anything apart from uh, uh, degenerate and micromissile. Fair enough. These are in... These are the most useful though. And I might... While I'm here, I might as well prepare. Yeah, I might as well prepare. I don't want to be in the same situation I was in the missile base. Let's get everyone to crit. Not just crit. I don't think we need anyone except Christus to be alive. In the upcoming sequence, we're gonna have to fight a Grat, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I don't think uh, we're gonna have to fight a T Rex or. So yeah, let me let me just prepare. We can get some easy encounters here, and we'll get everyone to critical HP. Squall is fine. He's probably gonna die though. <laughs> These bite bugs are so pathetic that they uh, do less than 11 damage. One twenty-two. Is, will that be all right? No, that's not enough. Yeah, I don't think I want more than this. So let's get out. Renoa limit break not particularly important, but I do need to grind. I, I'll need to walk walk around with Renoa in the party so that I can learn uh, Invincible Moon. Maybe I'll take care of that between uh, today and next time. Oops, hang on, hang on, might as well get Skull back up. He's just gonna be... Uh, a meat shield right now. Alright, let's do this. Hear that sound? That was Renoa learning her limit break. I mean Angelo. So Angelo reverse is done. Let's move on to Invincible Moon. I need Invincible Moon uh, before Fisherman's Horizon. So definitely gonna take care of that off stream if uh, we don't reach that point uh, today. Just need to keep running around. Right, so Garden Chaos sequence, the, there's a war going on between Sith's faction and uh, what? Garden, Garden Faculty faction? All very confusing. Maybe Sid hasn't paid his rent. We have random encounters here. Oh crap! Back attack! Okay, good thing we escaped. This is gonna be more more difficult late game. 
because we are we're all going to be at critical HP in preparation for whatever boss we want to face. And we, if we just get into a random encounter and they kill us, what's the point? I guess as long as at least one person survives, that's fine. We can just uh, revive the rest with Phoenix Downs. Uh, I guess for now, yeah. Let's just lie and say we are these guys. Don't don't want any encounters. Any extra encounters. Caterpillar? You know what? Actually, never mind. I was thinking maybe you could kill some caterpillars just to get spider web. That'll teach Quistis uh, Ultra Wave or whatever it's called. But I think at this this stage, Ultra Waves are pretty useless. Hey, it's Fujin Regen. <laughs> what? We gotta get out of here! I wonder what Cypher did to earn such, such loyalty. Alright. So normally they expect you to, you know, go into each of the sections of the garden, but I, but uh, I don't think we have to do that. Either it is during this sequence or it is during the fight with Galbadia Garden. I think it is during this sequence. Do I get? No, I don't think I get to save. Anyway, let's just take care of this. taking so long. Secure this area. Enough of just pretending. Yeah, I think we have to fight this guy. Uh, this guy should... This encounter should be with a Grat. Grats are pretty simple to deal with. Right? Okay, just one Grat. Cool. Yep. As expected. Face the wrath of this monster. <laughs> Pathetic monster. What do we get here? Angelo Cannon, okay. Oh yeah, that's our default. Hmm, that's decent damage, but uh, nowhere near sufficient though. Here we go. Degenerator, instant death. This is why that black hole is so important. What do you mean missed? We can't kill him? I guess we can't. We can't instant kill him, eh? Huh, very surprising. Very surprising. Well, Squall takes care of it, but... How did he not die to a degenerator? Very surprising. Might as well go in and collect the items. Hey, listen. It doesn't work on grads. Really? Very interesting. I mean, Grats are such a weak monster. Very, very surprised that it doesn't work on them. What is Shiggy Wars? Or Remedy? Oh, okay, that was not worth it. Remedies are pretty cheap. And plus, I've got plenty of money. Yeah. 
Greater Slumber and three others are also in I know the bosses are and some of the higher tier monsters are, but Grat? I'm shocked that such a low level monster is immune to degenerator. So I think that encounter with the Grat was the only one that was mandatory. We can pretty much skip uh, the others. Alright, so we witnessed a fight already going on and we are going to choose not to help them. And I guess Kadowaki, Dr. Kadowaki will make her appearance. Yeah, so just get out of here. I shall oblige. So I believe that's the only thing you have to do. We can move on with the segment now. Uh, go and find the headmaster. Right, we should have a cutscene here. No. So what else did I have to do? Okay, I'm kind of lost now. I already took care of the library section, I took care of the quad section. Oh, okay, okay, only when we climb the stairs do we... No, never mind. I want to check this entire floor. Sid is hiding somewhere. No, he's not! What other floor are we supposed to check? Are we supposed to check the... Are we supposed to check the other... What is the second section? This is the... Okay, this is the infirmary. Maybe you're supposed to check the quad as well. No, it doesn't look like it. We need reinforcements. And he's just gonna run away. I'm at the headmaster faction, right? So I believe they'll give us some items. X portion is very useful. Actually, it's not useful. Maybe useful for selling. I just need to make sure I get a whole bunch of Phoenix Downs at some point. Oh, come on. This is not a back attack. I cannot afford for escapes to take that long, damn it. So that was a quad section. Where else do I need to go? Maybe 
Maybe the parking lot? Chance of first try, yeah, that's best for escapes. There we go. Okay, so we did need to do the quad section. So, so we see Zoo running towards the elevator now. And that's our sign to follow her. It just automatically takes us up. Do we not get the floor option? Why are we on the second floor? Okay. I thought we were going to go we were supposed to go up to the third floor. Gonna find Zoo here? Yeah, there we go. Follow me. Until everyone to evacuate. <clears throat> That's not a great idea. <laughs> oh no, this music. Oh no! There is such a discrepancy between Squall's internal dialogue and what he says. At least right now. Why am I being judged? <laughs> yeah, he's like the only one doing his job here. Now it's time to enter the bowels of Balam Garden.
Uh oh. There has to be a way out. There's an RPG. Uh, oh, I have to press the damn button first. Okay, there's a pretty dangerous monster here called Triface, I believe. So I just want to save the first opportunity I get, otherwise that guy's just gonna kill me and I'm gonna have to repeat all this again. But for now, let's just keep climbing down forever. Man, you know when you think about it, this is such a slow-paced game. I'm already over an hour and we've, all, we've just done one boss fight and even that too only two attempts at it one of which was just cheating using the end now I find it pretty funny they're gonna ask me to junction fire to my weapons. LOL! Enemies weak against fire, sure. We have the... yeah, we do. Oh no, I should have said no. She's gonna launch into a tutorial. Uh, I remember. Okay, let's go. Climb! God damn it! I have to press at exactly the right angle. Oh no, I hate this part. Once again, button mashing and we actually have to mash very fast this time. So I've been told there is no way to do this the first time round. One of the ladies has to help you out. And you have to get it this time round. Come on, please don't make me do this again. Oh, thank you. Let's keep going down long ass ladders. I guess it seems realistic, but what a waste of time. More ladders? Or is that it? Yeah, that's it. Thank God. I believe this is where we can encounter... Oh, shit. Don't let it be a tri-face. Oh, it's just a bio. He can still kill us, though. Good thing we escaped. That guy has fire, ice, and thunder spell. Make a decision. Uh, I'll go check it out. I think that's the only thing 
that allows the progress. More ladders! At some point it's just gonna break. So you had to make me climb all the way up to the end. Climb down. Oh shit, more ladders now. <laughs> Look at Renoa. She's like, Squall. I was all getting sentimental here. And he's just like, nah, it will no big deal. Oh shit, one of the... it's the zombie things. I forgot the name. I hate that thing. Didn't realize you can actually encounter it here. More ladders, cause why not? Finally a save point. Now I'm not that scared of uh, the dry face appearing out of nowhere. I right, gotta press the lever first. Might as well put down another save after that. Alright, let's take on the boss. If everything goes well, this will end in two turns. Squall's dead. Alright, one down. Hmm, nah. I'll just keep Renault on standby in case Angelo uses uh, Angelo Reverse. Come on, Angelo! Anyway, got it in the bag now. They, they just. All that mattered was they not attack Quistus. And uh, yeah, it ends here. So, pretty simple boss fight if you have Degenerator. Can't really complain. Got a bunch of wizard stones. Nope, no, not very useful to me. Definitely want to save again after that. And for God's sake, don't give me a try point now. Try face rather. Phew. All right. Now we can continue on with the story. More ladders. Oops.
here comes the missiles. And the missiles seem to have eyes. Fantastic. That's the latest technology these, these days. Heat seeking technology is so 20th, 21st century. Actually, no, it's heat seeking missiles were developed uh, e a long time ago, weren't they? supposed to do here just punch some buttons it is old yeah but uh, 20th century right I mean has to be 21st century uh, uh, sorry not 20th century 21st century Fucking building flying is definitely not 21st century though. He's taking his 50s? Wow! Why am I an active radar? Interesting, but but isn't radar cloaking also a thing? You know, I never managed to understand how exactly that halo that Palam Garden has helps with flight because later on we'll see that even Galbadia Garden has that rotating thing which is apparently supposed to be what makes it fly around I don't know maybe maybe it's some anti-gravity technology is it there is it feeling a good size <laughs> So there we go, the missiles hit right on point. It's just that Palam Garden was no longer at that point. Oh, it's still quite an accomplishment to survive this uh, dust cloud. Look at that, it's got the tail of cat. I see, so this is the garden secret. I uh, wonder what is going on outside. What are we supposed to do? Um Okay, go down. Don't really have much of an option, but I'm struggling too. Remember what comes next. Alright, there's a scene with Renoa. There is a scene with Renoa where she'll appreciate the garden flying or something like that. I think we are supposed to go there. Crap. Why did I go back into the elevator? We have to go and visit the visit the garden's balcony.
But it's closed. Oh wait, never mind. It's open. Let's enjoy the scenery now. Before it all comes crashing down on Balam Town. Renoma looks really pretty in this scene. Especially when she looks back at Spall here. And for some reason we can just run around in this FMV. So I think that is amazing. Even though apparently it's uh, pretty, pretty easy to accomplish that. Especially if you've got the difficult part of the FMV out of the way. Squall! Oh no! It's gonna crash! Oh, okay, took automatically stupid took us back. We're gonna crash and let's let's let everyone look to squall. And what's he gonna do? He's gonna write some complicated C program. There we go. Man, look at him. Oh look at that. And thus the world was saved. Or at least Balam Town was saved. <sighs> if only smashing a bunch of random keys worked to solve all of our issues. All of our programming issues at least. Consider what to do next. It's just automatically shutting down his engine, eh? Alright, now Renault is going to approach us and ask Squall to take her around the garden, right? So right now I think it's just a relaxation period. Man, I'm bored. <laughs> I hate having nothing to do. Ah, oh, Squall. There we go, there's Renoa. Hey! Let's try and be rude to her. Wait, did we not get an option? I'm surprised that we didn't get an option to just tell her to fuck off. Unless I selected the wrong option. Oh crap, we are all healed. That's okay. Uh, quite a while until the next fight. Oops. Okay. So we don't necessarily have to show Renoa our own garden, but what exactly do we have to do? I think if we just enter the main area, there'll be a there'll be a cutscene of some sort, or is it? At some point, uh, we'll get an announcement that the garden master wants to see us. I'm just wondering when that point is. Yo, Kadawaki. Is this Kadawaki? Yeah. Stop. What? Uh, tell him to come by the infirmary. 
Okay, I think Sid is talking to Garden Master right now. There we go, yeah. So the ID number, Garden Master wants to see you. There we go. Alright, so no wasting time before the next uh, sequence. I appreciate that. Unfortunately, we are at full HP. So we'll have to do that during the boss fight, I guess. We'll have to bring everyone down to critical HP. Once again, Quistus is going to be uh, key here. Son of a bitch! And despite seeing all that, Squall just wants to give his report and then just get the fuck out of here. That guy's very down to business. In other words, no social skills. <laughs> all right, all right, move on. How slow does that guy walk? Master Norg has been waiting for you. Let's go. Man. If we die, we're gonna have to go through all of that crap again. Suddenly, ominous music. Fortunately, the first part of the boss fight is gonna be relatively simple. So we should have plenty of time to just, uh, you know, prepare. I don't really want... Anyone except Christus uh, at critical HP actually, now that I think about it. We can use Squall and Renoa as beat shields. Give your report on the sorceress. The mission was a failure! I think that's what he's gonna say, right? We failed to assassinate sorceress in DR. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, there is so much yapping here. I really don't want to repeat all of this.
quit your whining. Uh oh, <laughs> shouldn't have mentioned it. That married couple. I remember being so shocked. But I think that was intentional. I don't think I don't think at any point has it been mentioned that uh, Sid was married of all people to Idia. All right. Can we get started with this already? Just gotta make sure the pods uh, don't change color, that's all. One has already changed colors. Wanna get Quistus as low as possible so that she gets limit breaks uh, every time. Wow, you know you can actually do damage with the pods. You don't know that. I thought uh, it's always zero damage. Missed? God damn it, Renoa. Actually, because Renoa has such pathetic accuracy, I shouldn't use her to hit the pods either. I don't want to miss at a wrong time. Just keep hitting Christus. Forty-nine damage, eh? Sand. One more hit, and we should be good. Still no limit break. Let's see if micro missile works on the main, this first first phase. Nope, doesn't work. That's okay. First phase is pretty harmless. It will take some time though. That thing, that thing has uh, a lot of defense. Renault is doing decent amount of damage. Hopefully, uh, this boss is at a low enough level that he won't have too much HP. Oh, nice. Come on man, how much more? Don't tell me that thing has thousands of HP. Otherwise I think it's better just to get everyone down to crit so that we can use limit breaks on it. But let's see, we'll give it a couple attempts before trying to make it more efficient. Oh, 
Are we there yet? No. I really shouldn't queue up my attacks. Even at 75 HP, Christus is not getting the, uh, the limit break bar. Pretty disappointed. I mean, she's not getting it consistently. Oh my god, this is taking an eternity. I hope that North Dude is just as slow when he opens up his pod. Crap, that thing has way too much HP. Next time I'm definitely just... Uh, actually, let me just do this this time itself. Let's just get everybody into the limit break range because... Uh, this is annoying! Bruno is hitting herself. Great. Just great. Actually, do we care about Renoa's... Uh... Yeah, we actually don't care about Renoa's limit break. It's, go it's not going to do much damage anyway. So I'll just keep her at full HP. That's what he gets with limit breaks now. Yeah, there we go. Renzo can. He'll just speed up the process a bit, I guess. He's hardly doing any damage anyway. I'll keep Quistus on standby, honestly since I'm using Renzo Kuken anyway. Should have kept Reno on standby as well to hit that uh, left thing. I'm just gonna say, where is my rough divide? That extra hit, always appreciated. I think it's slightly more powerful than your uh, regular attack as well.
Oh no, both of those things are on yellow. I want Christmas on standby as soon as uh, as soon as the pod opens up. This is annoying. How much time is this going to take? The real boss fight has not even begun. Not yet? God damn it! That freaking pod is taking an eternity. Still not there? What the fuck? Now I desperately hope I win the first time around. Uh oh, one is yellow. Oh come on Squall, we need more hits than that. Finally! Queued up Chris's limit break. This should do half of his uh, HP. Oh yeah, that guy has 6000 eh? It's gonna take a while. Just gonna keep Squall and Renault on standby then. Two thousand more damage. Come on! Three sixty five. How much does he have? Shouldn't have too much more. I'm done for. Is it done? Oh, all right. That guy did not get a turn. So this was more annoying than uh, problematic, but I'm I'm happy because of the time I wasted. I definitely didn't want to repeat this. So I guess micro missile actually does seventy five percent, not fifty percent. Holy shit! It did a lot of damage. Four turns and uh, that was victory. <laughs> All right, so this boss is done. Next boss is going to be up at Fisherman's Horizon. Got a pretty long sequence before that.
Yay! We get Palam Garden music again. Okay. So if we remember, Dr. Kawasaki had asked us to ask Sid to be in the hospital. So let's go visit him there. Should be there, right? He has stopped crying. I have stopped crying. Yep. <laughs> let's go. Let's go chat with him. Actually, we don't have anything to chat with him. Do we even need to do this? I don't think we need to do this. Let's just get out of here. Speedrun tactics. Alright, so what's next? I want to save. Where can I save? Can I save in Squall's bedroom? Dormitory, I'm looking for the dorm. All right, ladies, make yourselves comfortable. Um, HB, do I care about this? You know, yeah, let it be. Uh, I don't want to heal. Okay, so now that we've met Sid, I think we need to go to the mission control or are we going to get an announcement of some sort I think I think the squall is going to get an announcement right oh there's a scene okay squall oh right now it's the Esther ship that we're going to meet I, I believe it must have run uh, so yeah, this yep, yep, yep. It's it's time for uh, it's time to find Alone. Let's go check out that ship. A Galbadian ship? Oh, was it a Galbadian ship? I thought this was supposed to be an Esther ship. Oh no, never mind. She'll transfer to this ship first and then she'll move on to the Esther ship. Which we'll find out later. We come in peace. Hmm. 
Hmm. Balam Garden has become too dangerous for a loan. L1. Yeah, I'm gonna call her L1. Literally no consistency with uh, her pronunciation. Reno is not supposed to know who L1 is, right? Alright, oh, okay. I'm very surprised that the uh, uh, seed level hasn't gone down so far. How much money do I have? Okay, 169,000. Not bad, not bad. I can buy plenty of Phoenix Towns with that. Don't think there's anything else I need to buy. Maybe some AP ammo for Irvine. Everything else I just need to grind for drops. L1 would be at the library. So let's just get the sequence over with as quickly as possible. It's hard to explain. In fact, I don't think she has ever properly explained herself. How exactly does this power work and why does she have this power? Is she a sorceress? I'm alone. <laughs> Actually, there's a bunch of those white seed guys living here as well, aren't they? We we saw that uh, right at the beginning when we were fighting Granaldo when uh, when Alone was attacked by Granaldo. She was accompanied by a couple of those guards. White seeds. Look at this dragon ship. I think Renoir is going to come and interrupt him again. She's way too nosy.
There she is again. Fucking hell. I think this is the this is when we get the option to just tell her to fuck off. <laughs> that was a guy at the door. It would be my honor to have your company, your highness, in hopes that I may get your mind off things. <laughs> oh god. Nah, I'm gonna be rude to her. This is stupid. Hey, what? Ooh, she, she really does fuck off. Perfectly good sleep. Okay, I've never I've never actually done that, so good to know. She really does fuck off. Alright. So now Balam Garden is just floating along along nicely. So what are we supposed to do? Okay, yeah, this is where uh, we are going to we're going on a crash course with Fisherman's Horizon. Hey, it's a master fisherman. And just when he caught a particularly large fish. <laughs> so the scenes in this game man and pretty much all of the scenes with the uh, Calvaria soldiers just one giant comedy All right, so we get to go to Fisherman's Horizon. I don't think there's anything that we need to do there. We'll just talk to the mayor and then immediately we can uh, move along to the boss fight. But there's quite a bit of dialogue though. Right when we land at uh, when we when we exit the garden what happened to the music what are you girls doing here you've been here since the beginning of the damn game Study for the exam. Fuck you. <laughs> Just because everything is a little crazy, does it? We don't have exams anymore. Well, you have your priorities straight. That's good to know. Sure. Studying for the exams. Hashtag <laughs> Japan. Yo. Gotta surrender your guns. But, but, but... What about the gun blade? Ah. 
This is another fantastic theme. Is this used only for Fisherman's Horizon? I think so. Can't recall where else this plays. Familiar face. Hello, Mr. Familiar face. Vinhill. Oh, is it? Interesting. I'll need to pay attention to that. Not during the flashbacks. Okay, so I guess once we get control of Palam Garden, uh, I'll land at Win Hill and check it out. Interesting. Let's get right into it. No point wasting time. I don't really see what I can do as part of preparation here. Squall is low on HP, Renoir is on full HP, and Quistus. Hmm, the problem here is that Micro Missile is not going to work against the boss. And we're gonna see fragments of memory plays. So I'm gonna struggle major time with this boss. I, I literally don't see how I'm gonna beat him. Unless I can get Invincible Moon. How far along are we in uh, for Invincible Moon? Oh wow! That's good progress. If we just walk on for a bit more, I might get Invincible Moon. But then not just one, I'll need like three or four Invincible Moons. Well, we'll see what happens. And while I'm here, I might as well get Quister's Gatling Gun as well. Apparently there's supposed to be some Final Fantasy 7 reference here. Allow me to get to the point. Get the fuck out of Fisherman's Horizon. Thank you very much. You'll get along really well with Squall. So apparently the backstory here is that this bunch of people from Esther who didn't like uh, the authoritarian rule over there. So they just created their own community and it blossomed into a city apparently. In the middle of the frickin' ocean. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Hey, listen! I'm playing to 13 FMP version. Uh, no, this is uh, the original one on emulator. Why any specific reason? Because I don't think uh, there's a significant difference at this point in the game between uh, the remaster and the original one. Time for some mage rage! There we go. Wait. 
this team plays, I thought I thought it was gonna play never never look back. Oh man, I'm disappointed. So much for non-violence. He's dead. <laughs> that he is. That he is. All right. Are we gonna get the encounter I'm looking for? Oh yeah. And oh crap. Okay, he threw Nova. He only does 59 damage. Eh? That's fine then. Come on. We need Gatling gun from this guy. That was pretty lucky. He can come accompanied by a soldier so that would have been extra experience. And we only got, we hardly got any experience so I think this will be fine. I'm you son of a bitch! I wanted running fire. Is that a rare drop? If that's a rare drop, then it's gonna be a while. Oh no. Hmm. You said that is a rare drop. That's very disappointing. So I think I'm going to grind here for a while just to get the uh, Gatling gun for Quistus. And just kill off the others. We also need uh, Invincible Moon in lieu of uh, better things. Yeah, it, it fills up pretty fast, I must admit. Must admit. soldiers that's fine I'll just uh, grind with Christus anyway mugging would be 100% chance the problem is I don't have access to mug this is a no junction challenge yeah I'm fine if they attack Christus Renoa, god damn it, your accuracy sucks. Who did I hit? How slow are these damn soldiers? And and when they do get a turn, they hardly do any damage. Oh, they can use fire. Well, there was Qual. 19.920, okay, 1 in 5 at least. So that's better than nothing. Please kill yourself. Thank you. Oops, shit. Let's see if one laser eye is enough to kill them. Should be enough. 600 damage. You know, laser eye not, might not be a bad idea against the boss. 
but I also want to check out how much damage Gatling gun does. Hopefully, Quistus will get some levels uh, in this process. She could, she could use them. Although that will also mean that the boss, boss might be at a higher level than normal. But I think it's a price worth paying. All right, where are you? Please don't tell me that's a rare encounter. Oh, thank you. It's not a rare encounter. Ouch! His regular attack does more than Gatling Gun. I need to heal her up. Hopefully I get uh, in this. She's at, she's at very good HP level for her limit break. But then again, one in five chance, so most probably won't get it. Come on. Oh, damn it. I just hope it's not a rare encounter. What the fuck is this? Fortunately, I don't have any AoE. No? No, not in crisis level yet? There we go. Let's check out how much damage uh, Laser Eye does. I'll need to compare that with Gatling Gun. Nine hundred damage. Maybe that was a crit, or maybe Laser Eye does more damage the less HP she has. Or crisis level. So, so must be something dependent on that, eh? That is a lot of damage. Maybe? Uh, yeah, it looks like that was a crit. These guys, I believe, can drop steel orb. Potion, steel orb, right. Do we learn anything from steel orbs? I doubt it. Where's the steel orb? Uh, gravitational power. Square compatibility with DM. Okay, fuck this steel orb. Compatibility with Diablos. This is up to level 10, okay. Come on, how difficult is it to get one running fire? Good. Three out of four encounters have been with this uh, Sam08 thing. What's his name actually? If you're gonna kill someone, might as well know his name. Sam08G. Can 
we get lucky this time? Oh, come on! God damn it! I mean, the M stone pieces are useful, but I can grind for them later. Actually, this is not too bad. This is helping me uh, get Invincible Moon as well, so... I guess it's fine. Oh wait, Renoir's dead? Oh shit, do I need Renoir alive? Come on Angelo, you don't need Renoir alive to learn your trick, do you? Unless the concept is she's the one who's teaching him. Oh god damn it. Okay, 454 damage is more than enough to kill those guys. Phoenix down, I appreciate that. Steel pipe. Steel pipe, nope, that is not that that is not useful for a limit break either. Let me check Renault's status. No, I guess, I guess she doesn't need to be alive to learn uh, uh, Angelo tricks. Interesting. I'll check back later again, just to confirm. More money? My seed rank still hasn't gone down. This time it did 60 damage, holy shit. How exactly does Gatling Gun work? Nope. Doesn't seem to have made any progress towards Invincible Moon. Let me get run, uh, running fire and then I'll check the status. Hello, what happened to the encounters? So I'm alternately, alternately getting this and the other encounter. You know what, screw this. Let me just focus on getting running fire. She's not gaining levels at any appreciable rate anyway. Yeah, I wonder if there's a pattern. 
One encounter is Sam08 guy and the other encounter is the GIN7 thingies. Nope, still no running fire. I didn't expect this to be this difficult. And I don't even know if Gatling gun is actually worth it. Might as well just use a laser cannon. What if Gatling gun is based on your strength stat? I think Christus has pathetic strength. Where are the stats? How do we see the stats? Uh, oh, there we go. 20 strength, but magic. Oh shit, she's got even pathetic magic. So if Gatlingan is based on strength, that might actually give me better damage. <laughs> I think Renault has the best stats. Strength 22, magic 50. Yeah, at least offensive stats. And uh, at higher levels, uh, apparently her stat stat uh, gains are just far superior to everyone, including Squall. More M-Stone pieces. God damn it. She did gain a level though. Might as well uh, put down a save there. Oh, there we go! Invincible Moon, baby! That confirms it, we do not need Renoa to be alive. There we go. You rush Angelo can Wait, what? Damage one enemy, revive party member. So Angelo Rush and Angelo Reverse, I believe, are counter-attacks. Angelo Cannon is the one that comes with default. And now we've learned Invincible Moon. So the active limit breaks only Angelo Cannon and Invincible Moon. So hopefully it'll give me a 50% chance. Won't learn anything, yeah. Why the hell does your ATV start right from the beginning? I guess it depends on your speed stat. So every time my ATV starts in the middle or uh, right at the end, I'm just I'm just getting lucky. Still no running fire. Looks like it is a rare drop. That's disappointing.
There we go. This time my ATP started much further ahead. So that guy doesn't get a move. More imps. God damn it. Now that we want Invincible Moon, I might as well just ignore Gatling Gun. Yeah, let's let's go attempt the boss without uh, Gatling Gun. Let's see how it goes at least. So far I've had stellar luck, but we don't have selfie with us here, so the end is out of question. Hmm, might as well give it another shot. Call at 5 HP, guys. I don't mind that at all. Oh, now you do rough divide. And let's uh, let's play around with little Renoa's limit break. Come on, invincible moon, Angela Cannon. I hope it's at least a 50-50 odd that we're gonna get Invincible Moon. Otherwise it would suck. Actually we kinda need to prepare Quistus. Please don't die. Thank you. Quistus needs to be much lower HP. One forty-seven. I think that should be fine. Squall is dead. <sighs> it would be ironic if I got the running fire here. Couldn't find any items. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even get those end stone pieces. Just my luck today, I guess. Actually, no, I cannot complain about luck one bit. of you. Alright, let's go help them. we're going to fight against three soldiers let's just hope nobody dies in this fight especially not Renova or Angela Cannon should be able to finish them off if 
she gets it off. Should have used it on the commander. But we'll have to rely on laser eye in this boss fight. And if it's gonna consistently do over 500 damage, I can't really complain. Yes, Renault got it on. Angelo Cannon, okay. And I desperately hope uh, she'll use Invincible Moon in the actual boss fight. With the Ironclad. What? This guy's still alive? Please die. Thank you. Alright, here's the actual boss fight now. Now the ironclad in this stage is a lot more difficult, which is why I need to rely on invincibility. And we don't have Zell's Armageddon fits, so our DPS is severely limited. Christus is for DPS. Yes! First Invincible Moon done. Yeah, so it... it I think it, it will last for about 3 turns. Come on! Skull's doing about 60, 60 HP of damage. That's not, not too bad. I just want him to get better when Zoku cans. Two hundred damage only with Quistus. Yeah, that's not good enough. Oh crap. Wanted an Angelo Cannon here, here. But hopefully, okay, missed. I was, I was hoping that it would refresh our Invincible Moon. But no, apparently it doesn't work like that. Okay, this was a 5 hit Renzoku can. Better. But I, I... I want those 7 hits. Is she doing less damage because she is high on HP? Another invincible move. God damn it, Renoa. And look, our invincibility is going to wear off right now. Has it been three turns? So far, so good. I believe this guy has about 6000 HP. So we need a good 10 to 15 turns. Yeah, invincibility has one off. Come on, come on. And this time she'll do Angelo Cannon. Fuck you! I needed an invincible moon. And she hardly did any damage. God damn it! You better not kill. Oh, Christus is dead. Fuck. But she wasn't doing too uh, good damage anyway. So I guess it's not uh, too big of a deal. Squall really needs to step up. She, he needs to do those 7 hit Renzo cans. Invincible? Oh come on Reno. Uh, I'm gonna lose this one.
There we go. There's a seven hit Renzo again. And an, a rough divide to wrap it up. More of this, please. Oh, come on! No Angelo Cannon! Bad Renoir, bad Renoir! <coughs> now he's probably gonna kill you. Man, that guy is super slow. Only four hits this time. Bad Squall! Another Angelo Cannon? What the fuck is going on? Oh, we're dead. Renault is dead. We have no hope now. Rip. Yep. I was, I was hoping maybe Angelo recover would trigger. But yeah, we need we need to be we, we need to keep track of when invincibility wears off. But we do get a good three turns. So I'm happy about that at least. Got pretty lucky, I think. I mean got pretty unlucky, I think. We got three invincible moons back to back at the beginning, which was unfortunate. And then it was all just Angelo cannons. Even if one of them would have been Invincible Moon, I think uh, we could have done much better. But uh, we'll need to see. I'll give I'll give it a bunch of attempts. So laser cannon is just not good enough. Or maybe I need to reduce Crystal's HP even more. Let's see if we can uh, do something here. These guys are doing about 20 damage, uh, not good enough. Need to reduce our HP a bit more. 1000, wow. <laughs> but it's on these, uh, it's on these guys. Hopefully he won't use fire now. One more hit, perhaps? Don't crit! Okay, she's down to 70 HP. Hopefully her uh, laser laser cannon will do a lot more. It does appear to be related to her uh, HP. Or maybe not, it's just RNG. Well, we'll find out. Hopefully this fight still goes uh, as it had last time, nobody dies, 
because we are super, everybody is super low on HP. Oh no! One HP! Are you kidding me? Nobody's getting their limit breaks either. What is wrong? Alright, Angelo Cannon should take care of those guys. Except for the commander. Commander should die here. Okay. Okay. Barely managed it. How much is this going to do? 361. Okay, not much of an improvement. And Christmas is dead. Fantastic. So we've already lost that DPS. This is call with uh, the score at 1 HP. You might get a lot more 7 hit friends or cookens. 7 hit friends or cookens does how much? Um, yeah, about 400 damage as much as Christus was doing. But we still need more than 10 turns then. Which is at least 3 invincible wounds. At least. And then Squall lets me down like this. Nope, still not getting that invincible moon. It doesn't look like 50%. It does not look like 50%. Even if he hits uh, Renoa, there's a chance that uh, Angelo Recover might trigger and she'll come back to life. Oh, rip. Come on, Angelo. Come on. Oh, come on, Angelo. Wow, he got two turns. Yeah. I don't see how to win this without a lot of grinding. So I guess we'll give it three or four more attempts and uh, I'll, go, I'll have to go back to the drawing board. If we want to do this, actually can we even do this without invincibility? I don't see how. Unless we got a shit ton of DPS. And how do we get a shit ton of DPS? I should try Gatling Gun at least. But if Renault is not going to cooperate, then uh, yeah, no amount of uh, DPS is going to help us. Just not going to last. This boss has enough HP that we need to last about 10 to 15 turns. And we need to be invincible throughout.
Here is gonna hit. More. Let's bring her down to less than uh, 100 HP. Oh man, you guys are useless. There we go. That's how it's done. I hate that we have to go through all this all over again, but at least it's not as bad as uh, some other sequences. So we have finally hit a wall in our challenge run, despite getting that lu uh, that lucky. Oh, now she's gonna use an fucking bitch. Well, at least that'll make sure uh, uh, nobody in this fight dies. This is also a 7 hit combo, eh? Alright, take three. If this doesn't work, which there's a very good chance of it not working, I'm gonna try with Gatling Gun. Beam cannon! Oh come on! You have to do this! Angelo can- God damn it! Oh boy, looks like I can't really do this without an incredible amount of DPS because 
Invincible Moon, cannot rely on it. Just cannot rely on it. Look at that Angelo Cannon again. So where the hell am I going to get that much DPS from? Another Angelo Cannon. Fucking hell. Maybe I should have had Zell in this team and just let Selfie use the end. Oh, another beam cannon. This time it's on Squall. <laughs> and look at this irony. She's gonna use Invincible Moon now. Can you believe this? Bitch. Now that everyone's dead. Let's enjoy invincibility for a while. Or Angelo Cannon also hardly does any damage. Who knows, I might even get lucky enough to get continuous invincibility. Oh, invincibility already wore off. Yeah, she's gonna die this turn. There we go. Alright, let's try and grind a uh, Gatling gun. So you've definitely hit a wall now. If only there was a way to just remove Angelo Cannon from the list, then she would always use Invincible, but... Oh man, that would just make it too easy, wouldn't it? But it's... But it doesn't look like Invincible Moon is 50%. She uses Angelo Cannon way more than uh, Invincible Moon. Ouch! This time Gatlin Gun did a lot of damage. For some reason. And we didn't get any items. This itself is going to take so much time.
How did she get her limit break at this HP? All a matter of luck, I guess. Nope. Still no items. Seriously didn't expect this to be uh, so difficult to get running fire. Oh man, more emstone people uh, is better than nothing. How many of those encounters is it going to take? Honestly, it doesn't feel like 20% chance to get running fire. Where the fuck are the encounters, man? I guess the reason she's even the uh getting an option to go into crisis mode is because the other two are dead otherwise no way at uh, over 200 HP she would be able to get a uh, limit break finally finally we get a running fire and this better be a significant DPS upgrade where the hell, hell is it okay there we go Gatling gun. Let's try this now. Test subjects here. One for it. What? That's even worse than laser eye. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Is right it is then. So I guess uh, we'll just we'll just make one last ditch attempt and call it a day. I 
I need to go back to the drawing board and figure out how exactly we're gonna beat this boss. Actually, I really kinda know, it's just that I would rather not do it. <laughs> because uh, no amount of grinding here is going to save my ass. That, that the boss has way too much HP. So, the alternative here is go all the way back. Go all the way back to a state where we were near Galvadia Garden. We had access to the area around Galvadia Garden. Now that area has a monster called... Uh, I forgot the name of that monster. Bell Helmel, yeah. I believe that's what, that's what it's called. That thing can drop a laser cannon at higher levels. So I need to do a lot of grinding. So I think what I'll do is uh, I'll get that laser cannon, teach Quister's homing laser. Homing laser should do like five or six thousand damage. No, actually no. I don't think it'll do that much damage. But it does over a thousand damage, so we have a far better chance of uh, winning a DPS race here instead of you know just doing piddly sixty to seventy damage per hit or even 300 damage with a laser eye. It's just not working without uh, the cooperation of Invincible Moon. So that's what I'll do if I don't manage to win here. But that would mean Quister's uh, levels up all the way to level 100, I think. So far, we've consistently managed to avoid uh, dying in this battle at least. Squall once again almost dead. <laughs> I just hope this guy skips a lot of stuns. Man. I don't think if he even had Zell here, it would make much of a difference. Just not enough DPS. Maybe Zell at much higher levels. He might be able to do 2 to 3000 per duel. And Squall's dead. Is that a counter attack? Don't tell me that's a counter attack. Okay, we got an invincible moon, but uh, yeah. How long is it gonna last? I'll just keep Reno on standby. First off, isn't uh, or Angelo Cannon hardly does any damage anyway. Quistus is just are, are going to be our main DPS.
Good, good. Doing good damage. Angela Cannon, god damn it. You have one job, Renoa! Someone's gonna die now. Unless the boss shows some mercy. Nope, someone's gonna die. And it's Christus. Yeah, we lost. Oh, now you get... Why do I even bother complaining? All our DPS options are gone. Now she's repeatedly using Invincible just to rub it in my face. Oh well, I kind of knew it was not going to work anyway. Let's see how long I can survive actually. Just as an experiment. Just to see how how good it could have been. If only the others were alive. Unfortunately Angelo recovered doesn't seem to work on others. I wish I wish Angelo would uh, use a Phoenix Down on other party members as well. But I guess it's reserved only for Renoa. Just rubbing it, just rubbing it in my face. We're gonna lose invincibility, yeah. And another invincible, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. This could have been this could have been the attempt, you know. This could have been it. Christus Christus had done over a thousand damage. Four or five more turns. Ah, uh, what could have been? But she was the first to die. The boss knew what was up. Another enemy. Oh no, this is Angel Cannon. Never mind. Chipping away 200 HP at a time. Look at how frequently she's using Invincible Moon now. Did I just get horribly unlucky? And she's just sitting there all transparent and all. Just laughing at the dead bodies next to her. Squall, don't you believe a word she's gonna say after this? Okay, no more invincible moon.
But this, this could have been the attempt, you know, if only Squall and Crystals were alive long enough. There we go. It finally ends. So like I said, hmm. You know what, instead of going back all the way and reloading from that save, I'm going to give it like 5 or 6 more attempts off stream. And if I actually manage to get this done, uh, I guess we'll just continue from this point next time. Not going to not going to be using any special strength, not that I, that I have any. Oh yeah, anyway, later guys.